So we are going to quickly learn how we can create a nice squared looking containers and keep them consistent. And just remember that this requires Elementor Pro that you could get in description because we are going to use custom CSS. So let me just create a container and I'll add one extra container in it, which I'll just call make it full width. Go into advanced and then in the selector, I'll just type aspect ratio, do one. And you can see it has automatically turned into a square. Now let's say if I duplicate this and maybe make it from left to right, you could see how this has turned into square. Now there is some issue that I want to explain before you proceed with it. So you can see that they are automatically turned into square because of aspect ratio. And another thing is it doesn't have to be like one. For example, this is like one is to one or one by one basically, uh, which is square. But if you do like four by three, let me just remove this so that we can see it better. And then maybe let's reduce this. So you can see this is how it looks four by three. Or if you go like three by four, this is how this looks. So you could keep a consistent design, but there is an issue. Uh, let me quickly show you guys. Right now this looks okay, but if we go into our tablet mode, we can make it go from top to bottom and it would look normal. And then if I go into my mobile mode, it would look normal. But let's say if I add it like an image container. And let's say if I keep duplicating it, you can see how this changes because the content is bigger than it. But obviously if the content is not bigger, it would look like this. So what about if we go into tablet and then duplicate it? You can see it still works, right? But then if I go into my mobile and then duplicate this one, you can see that it is actually disappearing. You can see that even though the image should actually stretch this container to bigger size, it is not doing that. And the simple way to fix it is by simply selecting this container and making it horizontal like this. And I don't know why it does not work with vertical. Uh, you have to choose it with horizontal. I don't know why this happens, but if I, you see, uh, if I duplicate this, it is how it works. It just goes from left to right. And what you could do is you could actually use like a media query like this, which is media screen and min width 1025 pixels. It basically means that if the screen is bigger than 1025 pixel, that's the only time it would use your aspect ratio, else it would not uh, use the aspect ratio settings. So right now you could see it works here. And if I duplicate, it does this thing, but if I go around here, it does not use the, you know, uh, it does not use the aspect ratio CSS because we are just telling it to only use it if it's a desktop screen like this. So yeah, pretty easy to do. And yeah, thanks for watching.